Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for attending tonight. We are traveling south with Avanti Destinations. We're very excited that you guys are here. We have Dawn from Avanti Destinations here, and she's going to go over all of the wonderful things that you can do um, with Avanti Destinations as far as flights and hotels and tours and trains and all kinds of great things. So we just um, would love for you guys to give us a call or send us a little message in the chat box here, and we can go ahead and get those questions answered for you. And I will turn it over now to Miss Dawn. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. And let me just uh, share my screen. So, oops. There we go. Okay. Could everybody see that? Yes, I can. Yes. Oh, perfect. All right. So, thank you everybody for joining us tonight to learn a little bit more about South and Central America. Um, you know, uh, South and Central America are open and they're uh, welcoming Americans to come and visit. Um, they love tourism, they love Americans, and um, it's a great place to visit. If you haven't um, traveled down south yet, I would highly recommend it. So I'm, I'm just going to go over a few things about Avanti Destination. Um, this is our 40th anniversary this year. And what we do is we customize independent travel. So, you know, uh, whatever you want to do on your vacation, um, we can create that itinerary um, and we will put that together for you exactly how you want to travel, whether it be um, what it, whether it, it be adventure, whether it be cultural, or whether it be um, food and wine, we can do that all for you. And there we go. So just so you know where we do go besides South and Central America, we do also um, uh, travel to Europe. Uh, we have North America, uh, North Africa, Middle East, Asia, and um, well, we don't have the South Pacific yet, um, but as soon as it opens, we will have the South Pacific to um, share with everybody. So what does Avanti Destinations do? We are a one-stop travel source. We help um, put everything together. So we start with um, our air. We will do your air for you. Um, we um, have contracted air. So what's nice about that is that it gives you um, all, um, we use all the different carriers to help you um, travel to wherever you want, whether it um, be scheduled or whether it be um, something that is contracted for us. So when I say it's contracted, um, you know, Jennifer, you know, it, it just call Jennifer or Glenda or Sarah, and they be um, they are the ones who we would work with. So when you call them, they call us and we give them the schedules and the pricing and everything that is needed for air. Um, we also do, when you do get your, to your destinations, we have transfers. Um, we do private or shared transfers. Um, accommodations. Um, when you are traveling, you know, uh, independently, what you're looking for mostly is being immersed in the country that you're in. So we use a lot of uh, boutique style properties or we use, um, depending on where you are, we use, use all different types of properties. So you just feel a little bit more of the culture um, when you're enjoying the, the destination. Tours and sightseeing, we go from, you know, going hop on, hop off to having tours, uh, just city sightseeing tours, but then we get a little bit more immersed and more, uh, uh, a little bit um, ex 
a, a, you know, a, a great experience for you would be, you know, whether you want to do food and wine, whether you want to go to someone's home locally and have dinner with them, or you want to go to a winery and enjoy uh, wine tasting or olive oil tasting. Um, you can go um, a little bit more adventurous if you want to climb Machu Picchu, or if you want to go to Patagonia, you can, you know, climb the glaciers there. So there's just so many opportunities um, that if you thought of it, if you dreamed about it, um, we could put it together for you. Um, we do rail on all on all three continents, meaning Europe, um, Asia, and South America. So if you like rail travel, um, we can put that together for you um, in one of the components. We also do uh, small ships, and I'm going to talk about that, especially in the Galapagos. So we do small ship cruising, um, whether you're in the Galapagos or Amazon. If you are going to Europe, we'll do that in Croatia or Greece or in Asia. We'll do that also in, at um, the Yangtze River or the um, Hong Kong Bay River in Vietnam or, of course, the Nile in Egypt. So we have all, all the uh, components that you need for your itinerary. You know, you can use us for your pre and post. So if you are going on a cruise, but you want to go a couple days earlier or stay a couple days later, um, we can put that pre and post together for you. You know, as we have all the um, components for you, it, it, you don't have to use all of them if you don't need them. So say you just need air transfer and a hotel, we can do that for you. So just don't think, oh my goodness, I, I don't need all those components. You don't have to use all the components. So we're gonna talk mostly tonight about is Central and South America. Um, and we're gonna start first with Central America. So we'll start with Belize. You know, um, there's a, um, a lot going on in Belize right now. Um, Belize is um, one of the only countries um, besides Panama where you can go on a private island and um, you know there there's a, a small hotel there and you can just have this um, wonderful um, uh, vacation just enjoying um, you know Belize on an, a private island and the only way you could get there is by boat and um, it's just a lot of fun. But what I'm going to talk about today is the undiscovered Belize, because when you are again, when you are going um, on a independent vacation, sometimes you want to go off the beaten path. And we do a lot of things off the beaten path because, you know, you might have been to Belize already or one of the other um, countries we're going to talk about and you might want to see something different. So. Um, our product managers put together um, itineraries, which are called recommended vacations. And um, I have a recommended vacation for you for each country. And what these uh, recommended vacations are, it's just a, a guide for you. So um, maybe you want to talk it over with one of the girls at Travel Pros and then um, maybe you don't like the itinerary exactly well we can tweak it for you we just this is a great starting point for you and then maybe you want to do at a night or maybe you want to go to Belize and then maybe go to Costa Rica so you might want to do two countries in one vacation we can do that all for you but what's nice about this um, undiscovered Belize you know Belize is um, just um, it's just an experience of welcoming Central America. It's just the jewel of um, that uh, Belize has to offer. It has um, inland jungles and the beautiful beaches of Belize. In um, it has two destinations that are off the beaten path. Um, so undiscovered Belize has, um, you know, it is off the beaten path of most of, um, of Belize. You can do other areas and we do have other itineraries, but this is the one I chose. You know, this one also has a lot of cultural, um, has um, uh, music, it has cuisine, it has chocolate making. So, you know, there's a lot of adventure for those adventure enthusiasts. If you want to do a little 
little bit of snorkeling, diving, or if you just want to relax and enjoy the beaches, um, they have a jaguar reserve. So if you enjoy animals, you can go do that in this particular itinerary. They have um, this one has inclusions of cave tubing, zip line tours with a lunch. Um, you know, culinary adventures, snorkeling tours. So there's just a lot to offer in this particular package. So most of everything is included. Um, and then what um, what uh, we don't put pricing on here again because uh, first, you don't know if you want to do this exact itinerary. Um, you don't know which hotels, uh, we don't know which hotels you want to pick, whether you want to pick three, four, or five star properties. So once you decide on all of that with um, Travel Pros, then we will put together all that information and we will put together the pricing for you. going to stop in uh, Guatemala um, and this uh, mysterious ancient city tour um, happens to be, you know, uh, history comes to life as you travel through um, ancient sites of um, civilization of the past. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Dawn. Yes? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Is the screen supposed to change? Yes, it didn't change? No, I'm sorry. That's okay, because yeah, well, you know what, I see the screen change, so let me see what I can do. To, All right. Um, did it change now? Yes, it did. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. And yeah, and please interrupt me if it doesn't, because I see the screen, so I don't know that it didn't change. Okay. So, thank no you. worries. Okay, so just going back to Guatemala, um, we have, um, you know, uh, the splendor of the Copan with its magnificent plaza. Um, it has uh, ball core and carved um, stellas there. The Mayan sites are just beautiful. Just a lot of history involved in Guatemala. So it may be something that you enjoy. You like all that ancient history. Um, so this is something that you might want to enjoy is this particular itinerary. So this again includes um, the Copen Ruins tour. Um, it, it, well, it includes three different ruins tours. So you might want to enjoy all all those uh, different ruins. Um, breakfast um, is included daily. And you're going to, um, this happens to be nine days, eight night tour. So you get to spend the whole time in um, Guatemala, but you also get to spend one night in Honduras. So um, this is something that you might wanna um, think about also in Central America. So we come to Nicaragua. Did it change? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, you know, um, Nicaragua is one of those countries that when you came, um, you know, it's, it's really untouched right now. Um, it might not be the first Central America country you might uh, you want to go to, but it does have a lot of highlights to in Nicaragua. Nicaragua right now is probably like uh, Costa Rica was about 20, 30 years ago. So it's really, um, a, there's a lot to see there. It's very old and um, it's, you know, it's really not tourist driven right now, but the, um, the locals love tourism. So um, they are really respectful of us. Um, um, I'm sure that everybody heard, you know, that they were having unrest there with their government, you know, never, um, and they, they were, and they might still have a little local, it's just in pockets of areas. They do not touch the tourism market at all. Nothing, um, they, they leave all the tourism alone. So um, you don't have to worry about that. But what's nice about um, Nicaragua is, you know, they have coffee there. You go on coffee tours, you go on rum tasting tours. They're, um, they have a lot of, 
of course, beautiful beaches. Um, they do a lot of snorkeling there. Um, if you like to, you know, do any of that, we um, that is included in um, all the di different tours of Nicaragua. You know, you go on a crater trail tour of the volcano. Um, you might want to do a chocolate workshop, which is included. And, you know, as I'm going to just say again and again, is that we have all of these things, including if something doesn't interest you, we can definitely take something out and um, put something else in that you you like to do much better. Or if you just want to explore on your own, if you want to surf, you know, their surfing is tremendous there. Um, you know, we can uh, put that together for you in Nicaragua. So then we go to Costa Rica. Costa Rica is very, very popular. Um, there's a lot, you know, especially if you're, um, whether it's high adventure or soft adventure, um, if you like to stay in little, you know, in, in the, you know, in the rainforest, we have different types of properties. Um, so this one takes you in the rainforest, in the volcanoes, and at the beach. So you have a little bit of everything. Um, so, you know, uh, this one also gives you a, um, a, a jungle cruise on, um, you know, you go on a canopy tour. Um, again, you know, in every single one of these itineraries, just remember breakfast is included. Um, this one is a eight night, uh, nine day package. So again, um, there's uh, lots included in this uh, in this tour. And as you see, the inclusions include you can either do um, we could do ground transfers for you, or if you're you know uh, of liking your own pace, you, we can. Um, this also includes a car rental, so you can do either or. So then we go to uh, Colombia and Panama, and this particular itinerary, you know, Colombia, uh, Panama is in Central America. Colombia starts South America. So this this is uh, uh, bridging Central and South America together as you're doing uh, Colombia and Panama. So um, it's a fascinating history. Um, and it's, uh, you know, the conquistador searching for gold and pirates. Um, and um, there's just historic forts there. Uh, they also have um, homes that are modern in modern cities and delicious local specialties and lively markets. So there's a lot to offer in both Colombia and in Panama. So, um, just this is a wonderful this is a, a pretty long tour it's a 13 day 12 night tour that takes you uh to bogota to cartagena portobello and then panama city so this is just um, a wonderful itinerary to learn more about um colombia and um panama and then um we're going to ecuador and Ecuador, of course, is the home of the Galapagos. So I decided that this particular tour, you know, um, will take you to Quito, which is um, the city uh, in Ecuador where everything is happening there. So you might want to do a little bit of land with your um, with your cruise. Um, if you don't like cruises, um, you can do island hopping. Um, so you, either it's a four night Galapagos cruise or it's an island hopping package. So we take you um, to two or three different islands um, that have hotels on them and um, you get to see uh, the Galapagos in a different way. So depending on what you like to do. And I am going to try to do this. I'm going to escape from this particular PowerPoint, and I'm gonna take you to another PowerPoint, hopefully. And I'm gonna show you the Galapagos. Did you see that? I, I just see your cursor. <clears throat> Do 
I think it, I think it's frozen now. All right, we won't show that then <laughs> since we can. All right, could you see my screen? Yes. Okay. I, um, I shouldn't have done that because now, I don't know why it's doing this. All right. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, I don't know why. All right. I I know. Okay. I got it. There we go. <laughs> All right. So, um you know, the Galapagos has just wonderful nature there to see, um, you know, of course, the turtles, the seals, and just, uh, you know, it's just a different experience for you when you go to the Galapagos. But this, one, this particular package also takes you on a city tour in Quito. It takes you on a dining experience in Terra. And then uh, Cotopaxi is a national park, which is a probably about an hour from Quito. So you get to go see, um, you get to go see that national park that ha uh, has a volcano there. So um, just a wonderful itinerary. Again, we have more than just one itinerary for you. If you don't like any of the itineraries, we can put together one that is exclusive to you. So just remember that also. And then we're going to take you, of course, to Peru. Um, Peru, um, of course, is um, holds the uh, Machu Picchu. So this is the flavors of Peru, which we go to Lima, Sacred Valley, Machu Picchu, and Cusco. So um, it is renowned for its rich uh, transi transition of culinary excellence. And it also is the heartbeat of Latin America cuisine. Um, unique flavors abound, highlighted by the modern renovation of um, ceviche. Um, if and you don't know what ceviche is, it's a cold salad that has octopus and um, squid and celery and lime juices. And um, it's just it's just something that is it's delicious and it is um, very, very flavorful, but it's something that is very um, prominent in Peru. And of course, uh, Pisco Sours, which is what um, Peru is also known for. It has very adventurous chefs there and infusing Peruvian Inca roots with modern cooking techniques to create amazing dishes. So this has, um, you, I know this uh, particular itinerary, um, you learn how to make uh, Pisco Sours and you, um, you go touring Cusco by night and um, you know, you have lunch in um, Machu Picchu and of course, uh, they're just going on different tours of learning about culinary, learning about culture, learning about their history. It's just a wonderful tour. Um, it, it's a, a seven night, eight day tour. Again, if you need to add on, you can do that. If you want to take the train through uh, to Machu Picchu or if you want to climb it, um, you can also do that if you're that adventurous. So let me see if I can show you a little video. Tell me if it works or not. Yep, it's working.
Okay, next we'll go to Bolivia. You know, every, nobody thinks of some of these um, off the beaten path countries and um, it's something that, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of flavors of Bolivia. So um, you might want to, this is the Tibet of the Americas. Sometimes they call that um, the, um, in Bolivia. So this takes you to La Paz and to Lake uh, Titicaca. So um, this is something that you might want to, if you enjoy culture, if you enjoy food, this has a little bit of everything for you, uh, wine tasting. So you get to see some of the culture in Bolivia, um, learning about the um, booming culinary scene there, um, all the different fruits and vegetables um, they have. And um, they uh, they're known for their um, the women there are known for their uh, what they call uh, cholitas, which is in a, it's um, an empowerment of fashion for the conscious woman in Bolivia. So they um, wear these um, derby hats. So um, that's just something uh, fun a fun fact of Bolivia. Um, the woman there that, well, I guess you can call it a derby hat a little bit, but it's, um, if you think of it a, a little bit different of a derby hat, if you're going to, um, you know, the horse races or something. So that's something that's, um, you'll see all the women there wearing. And then of course, Brazil, and we are, this uh, particular itinerary takes you to Ugasi Falls. And it takes you to Gassi Falls on both sides. So going to um, the Argentina side and also the Brazilian side, because it's it, um, the way the falls are, you, you just see it differently from both sides. So that, what's, that's nice taking you to both sides of the falls. Um, so this is the ultimate Brazil. And the experience there is just, you know, Brazil is just sensational and the country has many, many attractions for you. So this one takes you to Rio, of course, Ugasi Falls, and then spending three nights um, in the Amazon. So um, you might want to, um, if you love that nature, um, if you love, of course, the nature of Ugasi Falls and getting to see a little bit of Rio and enjoying that, you know, intense um, city life and enjoying dance and um, all the different colors. And um, it's just very, very special. So this um, particular itinerary is um, nine days and eight nights. And then we go to our last country, which is Uruguay. And um, this particular uh, country, we got, we're going to three different um, cities in the country. We're going to Carmela, Montevideo, and um, the Jose Ingacio. Um, so you might want to enjoy. This is just, we're discovering most, um, the highlights are exclusive and the experiences that are undiscovered in Uruguay. Um, we're tasting one of the best um, tannets of Uruguay. Tannet is wine so um and then we're just gonna go through the different historic neighborhoods and learn about the local artists and all their crafts and what they do there and their amazing um, natural scenery and a lot of things that they have to offer so the best of uruguay um we have is um the wine region um, and we are, of course, doing um, wine tasting and walking tours and going through vineyards and ruins. So this just has a little bit of everything for you um, going to Uruguay. And I, I got going to Argentina and Chile. And I don't know how I could forget that because Argentina, I just, uh, I went to last year, well, you know, I say last year, but it's probably two years ago now, and it is just magnificent. So um, this one happens to be down south um, in Argentina at Patagonia. So this takes you to both sides of Patagonia, the Chilean side and the Argentina side. Um, you would do this by um, cruising. 
but of course you're spending two nights in uh, Santiago in Chile and then you're going to um, cruise and then you'll be cruising to the Argentina side and spending two nights in El Calafat Day and then going to Buenos Aires. So this is just um, a wonderful, wonderful itinerary. I can't speak more highly about going to Argentina. I just, um, I just had the best time there, um, climbing the glaciers and just seeing them uh, calving and just exploring and going on hikes and it was just it was just amazing so this one has a lot of ground transportation for you of course the cruise is included in this going to the Prieto marina glacier tour um a tango show in um, buenos aires um you might uh, learn how to uh, tango a little bit so just going to show you a quick video on this particular tour So um, that's the end of my presentation for um, South and Central America, but just want to let you know that uh, Vanti also does um, all the countries in Europe, um, in Asia and Southeast Asia. Uh, we also go to Egypt, Morocco, uh, United Arab uh, Arab Emirates, Israel and Jordan, and uh, Israel and Jordan are coming on June 15th and then Australia, New Zealand, and Fiji. Um, so I just want to thank everybody. Um, uh, I, I just, uh, you know, if you have any questions, uh, the girls at Travel Pros will be more than happy to help you, whether you talk to um, Jennifer or you talk to Sarah or you talk to Glenda. So thank you. Well, that one's wonderful. I so learned a lot about that. I, I mean, I, I, every place that you've shown, I want to go to. If I haven't been to Belize yet, I am getting ready to book it. And oh. it's going to make me want to go tomorrow. And yeah. for anybody that, of course, that is interested in going to any of these locations, and as you see, they, they really do have multiple places that you can travel. So it's not just Central and South America. Um, they also have, of course, Europe and Asia. And I'm so happy that South Pacific is getting ready to come on board because I have a lot of people that are interested in going there as well. Um, yeah, every Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m., we're going to be having these shows. So please always turn, tune in. You do need to register because they are held online. They are free. And um, so is our services. We actually um, work for the different companies that you see each week. So um, if you have questions or anything, definitely feel free to you know, ask us because we can find out for you. Thank you. So.